hello everyone welcome back so we are again here to discuss the next topic of engineering drawing that is uh, projection of planes okay so in the previous videos we already discussed about the projection of points and then projection of lines and today we are moving forward with the another topic that is projection of planes okay so uh, first of all we must understand what is known as plane so plane is like a two-dimensional figure with negligible thickness okay so you can say that if any figure which doesn't have any thickness or you can say that negligible thickness that is a plane so you can say that rectangle is a plane okay circle is a plane okay so uh, triangle is a plane any polygon you have that is also a plane okay so these are some things which are known as planes okay so and uh, in this topic we have some different cases so case one is in which my plane is parallel to any one of the principal planes and perpendicular to other okay so you can say that plane is parallel to HP horizontal plane and perpendicular to VP and plane is parallel to VP then it is perpendicular to HP okay so this is my first case and the second case plane is perpendicular to both of the principal planes means horizontal plane and vertical plane okay and case 3 in which plane is inclined to one of the principal plane and perpendicular to other like plane is inclined to HP then it is perpendicular to VP and if it is plane is inclined to VP then it is perpendicular to HP and then we are moving towards the last case the in which plane is inclined to both the reference planes or principal planes which is which are horizontal plane vertic vertical plane okay so you see here uh, one more thing I am uh, telling you now that uh, when plane is inclined to HP means if plane is inclined to horizontal plane then we can say that that is known as auxiliary inclined plane okay so and if it is plane is inclined to VP then we can say that plane is known as auxiliary vertical plane so I'll discuss these things when I'll uh, tell you uh, with the questions that in this of this case uh, for some time you will be understand with this thing only that if plane is inclined to HP it becomes auxiliary inclined plane and if it is inclined to VP it becomes auxiliary vertical plane okay so these are the four cases we will discuss in these videos of projection of planes so today I'm going to discuss with you this first case the plane is parallel to any one of the principal planes and perpendicular to other so first case is in which plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP so let's see what this question is okay so friends this is the question we have and the case is in which plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP okay so you can see here this is the reference plane this is a horizontal plane the green part is horizontal plane and this blue one is a vertical plane okay VP and HP so this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant this is observer where it sees the objects to make the projections okay so you can see that first read out the question what question says so question says that the rectangle a rectangle a b c d okay so you can say here that this is a this is b this is c this is d and this is a rectangle this complete is a rectangle okay so the measurement of the rectangle is given that 30 mm and 20 mm so this is 30 mm and this is 20 mm okay it's parallel to HP so you can see that my this plane this complete plane is parallel to HP okay and shorter side AB 
this shorter side AB, this one, okay, is perpendicular to VP. So you can see here that when this line meets to VP over here, it always makes an angle which is perpendicular to VP. Okay, so the examiner wants to make the projection of this rectangle. So you first of all understand this imagination that this is my complete plane A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Okay, this is parallel to HP and the plane is perpendicular to VP. Okay, the plane is perpendicular to VP. You can see that A, B and D, C, these both edges, this edge A, B and C, D, both edges are also perpendicular to VP okay but the edge BC and AD it is parallel to VP okay but in the constant is said that the side AB perpendicular to VP so what examiner wants to know that whenever you make an imagination over here and give the nomenclature the shorter side the shorter side of the rectangle any one any one of the shorter side of the rectangle should be perpendicular to VP this is the second constraint okay the first constraint is the plane is parallel to HP which is here the second is and the the smaller edge the smaller side of your rectangle must be perpendicular to your VP so this is my constraint so this is my imagination I hope you understand this imagination very well okay now I'm going to make this question okay so again now you see that in this these type of questions in the projection of planes the examiner never asks you to make your plane in second quadrant and fourth quadrant as I already told you the reason behind this whenever you make a drawings in second and fourth quadrant the drawings will overlap on each other okay it overlaps so it doesn't whenever the engineers or any other person wants to read that drawing they might get confused in that overlapping so that's why we always make a drawings in first quadrant and third quadrant okay so you in this question it is asked that projections of rectangle it never it it doesn't ask that to make a particular that quadrant so I'll make this quadrant oh okay this make this rectangle in first quadrant okay so and also there is no distance given that how much it is away or above HP and how much it is in front of VP so you can take any distance if do you do not have any distance you can make any distance to project your rectangle or any other object okay so let's start okay I'll start this is your XY line okay I'll start from here okay one more thing I'm, I'm going to tell you now that whenever you see from the front view of this rectangle you will see this AD line okay this AD line is very much near to you okay and it is near to you and you are only watching this line from the front view you cannot see the complete plane from the front view okay to see the complete plane you have to move towards top and watches the top view from the top view you can see the complete plane okay so that is known as true shape means the actual shape as per the question so in this question we have a rectangle so I can see my rectangle only from the top view I cannot see rectangle from the front view from the front view I can only see this line AD okay so from which view you are watching the complete plane or true shape of the plane you are going to make that view first okay so in this case you are going to make top view first after then you have to make the front view 
you cannot make front view over here and then you make the top view you have to make the top view first then you make the front view because from the top view you are watching the complete plane the true shape of the plane okay so let's start with the help of line so, so you can start from anywhere because there is no restriction of any distance from HP and VP so I'll start from here okay and I know the distance this this line should be bigger bigger length of the rectangle so that is 30 okay so I'll make 30 and downwards it is 20 then 30 then upwards 20 so this is my rectangle this is my rectangle okay so this is my rectangle okay and the shorter edge this one I know that this is a B as per my imagination this is a B so this point is a this point is B then C then D okay I'll make a nomenclature over here so you can understand in better way so K A this is a dash okay sorry this is only a this is top view okay this is a, a select it properties make the text height 6 or 5 whatever you want okay and then I take this point towards my corner with the help of move command okay so this is your a point okay so in the same way I'll take like this I put over here put over here put over here okay then select it okay so this is your B point okay so this is your C point okay and this is last is your D point this is D okay. so you can see that this is A B C D okay so you can see that this is A point A point which is here and this line is A B then C point then D point so this is the way to make this complete rectangle okay so now I'll move towards uh, to make the front view so from the front view you know that it is only line which is watchable okay so how to make that front view take a projection you have to take the projection from this point okay towards like this so I'll take some distance from HP okay this one again I take a line take a projection upwards like this one okay then again take a line from here I'll make a line over here okay so you know that this is my actual line which is seen from the front view and these are the lines okay I'll make with the line okay I'll join all of these lines with the help of join command just write on join after selecting these lines and enter so you can see that it becomes one entity one plane rectangle okay I'll also make this thick as per line conventions and these are the projection lines should be thin okay so I'll make these lines a little bit different so for your understanding only okay so this is the question and what are the requirements this is a projection of rectangle has been done I'm only left with the nomenclature in the front view okay again you uh, which point you see first you have to make over a first so if I make over here nomenclature so you can see that from the front view from the front view this A point is seenable first than your B point okay so you have to make nomenclature accordingly so in the f in when this line goes this one you see this point first and then afterwards this point okay 
so copy this one put over here okay then again copy take B put over here okay then again make it selected so a dash because it's a front view okay then take this one also a da b dash because it is a front view so you can see that this is a dash p dash it, it cannot be b dash a dash because a is the point which is seen first from the front view okay in the same way i'll make a nomenclature here so this is D okay and again I'll make copy the C point and put over here okay so now copy then select it D dash okay then again select the C one then dash okay so this is the completion of my course turn now I'm ref left with only dimensions and you are going to make dimension only one that is linear dimensions so only the dimension of rectangle is required so this is 20 as per the course turn again take a dimension so this is 30 as per the course turn okay so never give dimensions like this way if you are giving 20 mm over here so do not take this dimension 20 mm over here and do not take dimension this side also 30 as you already take 30 on downwards and do not take these dimension the projection dimensions okay these dimensions okay I'll tell you do not take these dimensions as as these are not given they you assume these dimensions so there is no need to give this dimension okay so because it is not given that how much it is away from HP and VP so there is no need to take this dimension so delete it so uh, this is the question and this is the solution of my question I hope you understand my first case that in which plane is parallel to HP in the next video I'm going to tell you in which plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Okay, thank you everyone.